The Chiefs have been very quiet during the free agency. Yeah. Are they going to do anything? So there's a little Ian Rappaport note that the DeAndre Hopkins trade market is heating up. So here's the deal. And you remember DeAndre Hopkins from when Mm -hmm. we were in Houston. He's unbelievable. He's expensive and older, but he's unbelievable. The Chiefs' big question last year was their wide receiver core. They obviously won the Super Bowl despite it, but it was a question. Their top two wide receivers from that receiving core are gone now. Juju signed with the Patriots, and McCall Hardman is a free agent, but it doesn't look like the Chiefs are bringing him back. That was receiver one and receiver two for the Chiefs last year. Now, they did add Kadarius Toney, but I believe the Chiefs are either going to sign Odell Beckham Jr. or trade for DeAndre Hopkins and then address tackle and defensive line in the draft. Speaking of the draft, so this weekend I was basically in the with our youngest all weekend in mm-hmm. the house. We were watching movies and stuff. And I don't know if you noticed, but uh, and you have a little stray hair flying away there up top, which I know you'd be mad if I don't tell you. Thank you. Baby. Uh no problem. I got you. you got so me. uh I was sitting at my computer a lot while Deanna and I were watching the Jurassic Park trilogy. Mm-hmm. I was doing mock drafts. So mock drafts are fake NFL uh, drafts. Yeah. Um you're Full good. seven round mock drafts on Pro Football Focus. I did fourteen of them. Can we show? I want to show the audience my four favorites. You're such a dork. I know, <laughs> but these. Uh, so you can trade picks, you can negotiate things. So let's go ahead and throw up mock draft number one on the screen. This was this is what we call Jalen Carter slides. So in this draft, Jalen Carter, who some people thought was the number one player in the draft, leave this up on the screen for a moment. Uh, He's had some issues, Danielle. Jalen Carter was number one player in the draft. Then it came out he and a teammate and a trainer for the team potentially were drag racing. The other car got in a wreck. People died. Wow. He allegedly maybe drove off, didn't stay. I didn't help him. He had his pro day and he was overweight. So a guy who people thought could go number one overall, now people are saying sliding. In this mock draft, and I have no control over who the other teams pick, he slid all the way outside of the top 10. So we in Kansas City, we made some moves. We traded the 31st pick and next year's number one for the 11th pick with Tennessee and their third and fourth rounder next year, jumped up and got Jalen Carter, addressed the receiver issue with Nathaniel Dell uh, in the second round and kept it moving. And if you're watching on YouTube, we did a full seven rounder. But the the odds of Jalen Carter actually sliding quite low. So now let's go to mock draft number two, which is the Quentin Johnson mock draft. So in this one, we also trade up (laughs) Quentin Johnson, the number one receiver, the beast out of TCU, He slides a bit at number 15. There's too much value there for us not to jump on it. We call up Green Bay. We offer Green Bay the 31st pick, our first rounder next year, a seventh rounder this year, and a fourth rounder next year for the number 15 pick, their second and third next year. The logic behind that is they're entering the Chiefs number one and Green Bay's number two. Not that big of a difference. I don't actually think in real life Green Bay would accept this trade, but Pro Football Focus's algorithm said they would. Chiefs draft Quentin Johnson, address Garrett Williams in round two, and I don't know if you then then we do some other trades, but don't don't worry about those. Now we're trading mid round picks for future years of a fake draft that I'm not actually participating in, but I did so it. You're, I you were doing it. this and watching Jurassic Park at the same time. I was. All right, mock draft number three. <laughs> this one is more standard. We're not making major trades. Dewan Jones, tackle out of Ohio State, is there at 31. The Chiefs address their tackle issue, draft a corner in round three. But what about round two? Oh, do you see that on your screen? Oh, yeah, you do see that on your screen. <laughs> DeAndre Hopkins, four. And the 96th pick of the draft, four. The 63rd pick, the 135th pick, and the 216th pick. So the Chiefs are just tackle and trade for DeAndre Hopkins. And then mock draft number four. You want to see it? It's up on the screen right now. This is no trades. We're just going straight forward. Anton Harrison slides the tackle out of Oklahoma. Draft him. Then Zay Flowers is available. You're yawning. You're doing Deanna. This is boring to you. My mock drafts, my fake drafts. It's not even real. Well, yeah, but the real draft's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. All right. I have a confession to make. What? 
I texted the Chiefs GM about this. You did? Yeah. He be- he didn't even respond, did he? He didn't. I know he did. <laughs> oh, doofus. <laughs> I did. I texted him. He's probably been, like, Nick Wright's such a dork. I'm not responding I've to this. I've been grinding my traps all weekend if you need any pointers. <laughs> I did. Doofus Katrufus. Oh, I did. I texted him and he left me on red. That's the first time he's ever left me on red. That's my buddy. Oh, gosh. Brett Beach. (laughs) Somebody send these to Brett. These are good drafts. These are good drafts. Oh, you might want to send him a follow up. (laughs) No, I'm leaving it alone. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.